Hey, Kenny here with my good friend Randy Peterson. Randy is the director of instruction and director of product performance for Callaway. He runs the test center here. Hey, great and Randy, to be with you. Always, that's great, always bud. A pleasure. I know it. You know, we've had this idea with the wedge. You and I have talked for for the last year about a wedge. I I, I thought the uh, you know average golfer is a little left out. Yes. I mean, yeah, wedges sure. today, wedges today. I think you could go uh, take any wedge, and a professional could just a touring pro could use that wedge. And I'm thinking to myself, why isn't there more game improvement built into some wedges for the amateur player and of course your thought was let's not just make it for the amateurs but let's make it you know for, for a pro too or you know a good player could use it yeah. so we had some ideas with uh, the new sure out wedge and let's let's talk about it a little yeah. bit I mean well I was it's, I'm excited you know when you called and said hey we need a wedge that the average guy can use that'll right. help them not just a tour pro but it will work for good pros too that's the kind of challenge we like around here and so it, it, this has been a fun project to work on and uh, getting your input and working with you it's been great and so this is what we came up with and it's it's awesome and you've hit it we've tested it we did an extensive amount of testing with this right. and uh, especially on the soil we worked so hard on the soil on this to make it playable from all kinds of conditions forgiving but also accessible for a good player and it, it's great it's uh, as you can see the head's a little bigger than a normal right. wedge grooves go all the way across the face uh, that's a, that's a cool feature I yeah. mean the, the uh, you know I've, I've seen you know golfers that I've taught and you've taught them too and you know they're hitting balls out here which is normally the chrome and I've always thought why <laughs> why don't they have grooves out there for that guy because I mean you can still hit a decent shot out there off the toe it might yeah. not go as far but it's still a decent shot but why not have grooves there too well, so we put grooves all the way across and you get some good players that will open it up and hit high and way out here on a big lob right and the grooves will help you with some spin and some control so these go all the way across the face, but not only that, they're machined in. So these aren't cast in. So these are made to a tighter tolerance and they spin more than a, a groove that's cast in like some of the competitive So that's, ones. A, that's, a, that's a big difference in the grooves. Huge. That's why yeah. I've, I've noticed how much the ball's spinning yes, and that's why. Yes, yeah, these are all machined in. And then we go to the sole where obviously you can see the sole is wide and we spent an excessive amount, I mean, just a crazy amount of time working on this, going through different iterations, machined up different models to get, so we have three factors. So you have the width of the sole yep. and then the bounce of the sole and then the camber, both heel to toe and front to back. Yeah, I told right. you we need, a, we need a wedge where a guy can doesn't have to open the face. Right. He doesn't have to make a big swing because people don't want to open the face. They don't want to, it scares them. They don't want to swing faster. The sand offers resistance. Yes. Amateur golfers oftentimes don't have a lot of speed to begin with. Correct. So they hit in the sand, the club slows down to nothing. Yeah. Uh, so I said, we need, a, we need a wedge that can just glide through that sand. And this is what you came up with with the sole. And one of the cool things about this is it's designed where you can definitely, anybody can play this with a square face and get out of the bunker in one shot. I mean, you promise. You, you've seen it. You can get out of the bunker in one shot from a square face. But the way we cambered the sole and offered some relief, you can also, for a good player, can open this up. Some of the other ones, when you get such a wide sole and a lot of bounce, when you open them up, the leading edge comes way off the ground. Right. This one doesn't because of the way we cambered the sole and offered a little relief here. So if you get a player who wants to open the face, you can, and you can hit it straight up in the air, but you don't necessarily have to. So the versatility of this wedge is, is phenomenal. So and the playability you, is great. You, you told me about uh, when you were doing a little testing and, and you had some of your executives we out here. We had the whole senior team out here. Okay, and everybody was in the bunker. We all went in the bunker. We had 75 balls and I had every guy hit about 10 shots out of the bunker. And they were all hitting and they were noticing they were getting out. And we were, I had everybody hit with a square face. Nobody opened the face, right. straight back, straight, you don't have to cut you across didn't the Tell ball. them to swing across you know, it. You, not... Which is a terrible thing to do anyway. And then, <laughs> but not hit two inches behind it or four, and just hit it, just swing right. and get it out. And when we finished, I asked them, I said, now look, and I don't know that anybody noticed while we were going through it, but I said, look, how many balls got left in the bunker? Right. And the number was zero. Zero. And there, there's no other wedge, I promise, where you could grab and you could get the spectrum of golfers we have and each hitting 10 or 12 shots out of this bunker right here with the three foot lip where nobody would leave a ball in the bunker. And everybody when they saw that, they go, yeah, and, and the ease of getting it out is impressive. But the other thing is you can pitch with it off a tight lie, out of the rough, off a normal lie, just as easy too. And that's because of the way the sole is because cambered. Because of those three factors, the, the, the width, the bounce, and the camber 
both heel, heel to toe and front to back. Another feature I noticed about the wedge, you know, that we talked about too. I said, yes. if you, you know, I, I was talking about, you know, you asked you me, Hank, it. what would be ideal with wedges? I said, well, you know, you got to be able to get out of the bunker. Yeah. Uh, you you want to be able to hit behind the ball and have some forgiveness. Yeah. Uh, you'd like a club that that's, uh, you know, shank proof, but you don't want it to look goofy. Exactly. That's um, so so you, you, you gave people a little relief here with, with the way the, uh, the hosel is. Right. So when we talked about that and you said, I want to make sure that it doesn't look like you can shank it. I got together with Scott Manwaring, who runs our iron group, our, our designer, and we came up with this idea of just scalping this back a little bit so it's also it's trimmed a little bit and, and indented a little bit. So when you set it down, it looks like you can't get to the hosel with it. But it doesn't look so off-putting, like it looks super game and proven. It just, it looks almost normal. But you can definitely notice it would be harder to get to the hosel there. And uh, and that, that the response to that, to that's been really good too. So. And we've got two lofts, 58 and 64 degrees. Correct, yep. So you can throw that thing straight up in the air if you yeah. want, or you yeah. can take the 58, right. hit it a little lower. Uh, it, it's an incredible club. Uh, sure, it's a great name, iconic name in golf. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. it, it's, it tells the story right there. You're, yeah. you're surely going to get out. And yeah, and I think this, this club does justice to the name. I mean, this club, for sure, you're going to get out. No two chips. I'm excited about it. Yeah. You did a great job. Thanks.